Mr. Speaker, sir, I shall reply to both PQ B771 and PQ B775 together. Mr. Speaker, sir, I refer the honourable members to the reply I made to the PNQ at our sitting of Tuesday, 5th of July 2022, wherein I stated in the most unequivocal terms that there has been at no point in time any installation or any attempt by my office to install whatsoever device and or equipment at any of the submarine cable landing stations to monitor internal traf internet traffic to and from Mauritius. Mr. Speaker, sir, in normal circumstances, information pertaining to national security is not disclosed. However, I'm providing certain information in order to clear the doubts and dissipate the confusion created in the minds of the people by the false allegations made by the CEO of Mauritius Telecom and the hysteria of the opposition over this issue. I therefore seize this opportunity to provide further clarifications on the matter in order to set the record straight. Indeed, on the 21st of October 2021, the security division of my office issued a letter to the chief executive officer of Mauritius Telecom Limited to request him to provide certain information regarding the South Africa Far East submarine landing station situated at Bejakote, Belom, in the context of a, of a security survey. The information sought related to inter alia, location of the submarine cable, security measures put up thereat, number of personnel working thereat, including any foreign national, and the technical details with respect to the submarine cable. On 22nd of December 2021, being given that there was no response from the Chief Executive Officer of Mauritius Telecom, a second letter was sent to him, reiterating to provide the requested information regarding Bejakote Landing Station. Thereafter, on 24th of December 2021, the CEO of Mauritius Telecom provided the information which was being sought by the security division of my office. On 12th of April 2022, the CEO of Mauritius Telecom was informed that a free member technical team from India will field a survey mission to Bejakote Belom between 13th and 15th April 2022. And he was requested to extend all necessary assistance to the team during the survey visit. On 14th April 2022, the CEO of Mauritius Telecom met the head of the delegation during which technical matters concerning the survey were discussed. In the morning of 15th of April 2022, I was informed that Mauritius Telecom had not made arrange necessary arra arrangements for the team to have access to the landing station at Bejakote for the survey. Subsequently, I phoned the CEO and asked him to make arrangements for the survey to be carried out. Finally, he agreed to grant access to the team. On the same day, the CEO asked the Chief Technical Officer of Mauritius Telecom to accompany the delegation to Bejakote for the site survey. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is also apposite to underline that the Chief Technical Officer of Mauritius Telecom accompanied the team to Bejakote Landing Station. 
and he was physically present on site throughout the whole survey. Moreover, the chief technical officer has in a report confirmed that no sniffing or other equipment had been installed by the team at any lending station, including Bijakuti. Mr. Speaker, sir, I wish to highlight the fact that the survey was carried out as far back as 15th of April 2022. And it is only now that the former CEO of Mauritius Telecom is making baseless, I repeat, baseless allegations that I gave him instructions to allow a third party to install or use equipment to enable sniffing, interception, monitoring or recording of internet traffic to and from Mauritius and all countries in the region. Let me restate most emphatically that I have never given any instructions as alleged by the former CEO for the installation of sniffing equipment and at all material times. The question and the only question as regard to Beja Kote Lending Station was the conduct of a survey by the Indian team in the interest of national security. Mr. Speaker, sir, I have also been informed that the CEO had at no point in time brought or deemed it necessary to bring this matter to the attention of the board of directors of Mauritius Telecom, despite the fact that the request for the survey was communicated to him as far back as October 2021, the more so if he had reservations on the nature of the request. Mr. Speaker, sir, as the House is aware, following the baseless accusations made by the former CEO, I invited him to make a declaration to the police. However, he has so far failed to do so. The false statement, declaration and publication of Mr. SS have caused and are causing irreparable prejudice to Mauritius. The government, my office, and my person as Prime Minister, since this represents a grave risk to national security, I have deemed it my duty to report the matter to the police myself. I have accordingly given a statement to the police on 11th of July 2022. I have requested the police to initiate an inquiry into the matter forthwith. Therefore, the setting up of another inquiry does not arise. Monsieur le Premier ministre, vous avez fait référence à un survey. Par les correspondances que vous venez de mentionner, commandité par le gouvernement mauritien. Est-ce que vous pouvez dire à la Chambre si vous avez fait une requête formelle au, Mauritius, au board du Mauritius Telecom Si oui, quand et avec qui Et ensuite, est-ce que le cap safe qui appartient à un consortium d'opérateurs, est-ce qu'il y a une requête officielle envoyée au consortium pour demander l'aval avant de procéder à ce survey the honourable member maybe does not know, the lending station at Beja Kote is under the control of Mauritius Telecom. That is the first thing. Secondly, the security division of my office has written and communicated with the ex-CEO of Mauritius Telecom, requested him first to provide some technical information. As far back, as I say, 21st of October 2021, with a view to carry out a survey. And thereafter, as I have replied in my answer, there have been other communications to 
the, C, the ex CEO of Mauritius Telecom. Monsieur le Premier ministre, vu la gravité de l'accusation portée contre vous en tant que Premier ministre par l'ex CEO de la Mauritius Telecom, et vous confirmez à la Chambre aujourd'hui que vous avez fait un statement à la police hier. Cette même police tombant sous vos responsabilités. Dans ce cas, dans ce cas, vu que des précédents, vu que des précédents cas, des membres de votre gouvernement, l'honorable Colin Davelou, le feu Raj Dayal, l'honorable Yogida Sominoden se sont retrouvés dans les mêmes situations que vous. Est-ce que vous ne pensez pas que c'est bien pour la transparence dans l'intérêt du pays que vous présentez votre démission et à la suite de l'enquête, vous revenez Monsieur, monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Président, sur un point, je suis d'accord avec l'honorable membre, sur un seul point, c'est une allégation plus que grave, extrêmement grave, qui a été faite contre moi. Et le même raisonnement de cet honorable membre, pourquoi quelqu'un qui m'accuse de l'avoir donné des instructions pour commettre une offense aussi grave que ça et qu'il a des preuves, pourquoi il n'est pas allé à la, aux autorités concernées pour faire une déclaration et fournir ses preuves je lui, ai donné, je lui ai donné quelques temps. Mais étant donné que après, peut-être à travers son propre parole, il est allé dire qu'il va venir de l'avant avec d'autres preuves vendredi dernier. J'ai attendu, j'ai rien entendu, j'ai rien vu. Et là, il, apparemment, il va donner d'autres preuves. Je ne sais pas si c'est aujourd'hui ou quand. Donc, ma patience a des limites aussi, Monsieur le Président. Donc, moi, j'ai été à la police, j'ai fait ma déclaration. Et je peux vous dire, Monsieur le Président, j'ai fourni à la police tous les documents et toutes les preuves nécessaires pour l'aider, pour aider la police, pour aider, pour aider la police à faire son enquête. Maintenant, c'est entre les mains de la police. Et, et on verra, on verra, Monsieur le Président. I don't speak out of thin air. As Prime Minister, I don't speak out of thin air. And I stand by and I stand by what I say. But time will tell. The hysteria of this opposition brandishing high treason. They are talking about high treason. Why don't they? Where, where's the high treason? There are so many uh, uh, barristers there. Why don't they go and make a declaration for, for accusing me of high treason? Just soulever les pancartes when you have high treason, fair joli. On verra. On verra, Monsieur le Président. I'm speaking here before this assembly today. With time, we will see. Oui, Monsieur le Premier ministre, on verra. Monsieur le Premier ministre, vous êtes accusé de haute trahison par nul autre qu'un de votre proche collaborateur. CEO de Mauritius Télécom en poste qui fait cette allégation, cette accusation et révélation. Can you table all the correspondence between your office and the Mauritius Telecom regarding the survey? Not seeking information, but regarding the survey you requested. All the documents that you, you exchange between Mauritius Telecom and your office. Can you table it to the House? Monsieur le Président, je viens de dire, j'ai donné mon statement à la police, toutes les communications qu'il y a eu entre The security division of my office with Mauritius Telecom has been submitted to the police. Deuxième question, 
Monsieur le Premier ministre, l'île Maurice entière est au courant que le monsieur en question, monsieur Sérissing, avait l'intention de parler ce soir sur l'Express. Ceci dit, il avait l'intention de parler sur l'Express pour dire toute la vérité, selon lui. Et aujourd'hui, nous apprenons à l'heure actuelle, alors que nous sommes au Parlement, que votre police, votre police est à la trousse de M. Serriting. Est-ce que, pour la transparence, ne pensez-vous pas qu'il était plutôt mieux de laisser M. Serriting parler ce soir et à ce moment-là, vous allez à la police Monsieur le... Monsieur le... Monsieur le... Monsieur le Président, je vois que l'honorable membre est beaucoup plus et mieux informé que moi, comme Premier ministre. Il sait déjà que la police est à la trousse de M. SS. Deuxièmement, qui l'empêche de parler Qui, qui l'empêche de parler Il y a, comme certains avaient évoqué, comme toujours, fake news, que j'essaie en train de mettre un gagging order. Not at all Not at all Monsieur le Président, j'invite Monsieur SS à venir dire ce qu'il a à dire publiquement. Je l'invite Et troisième, troisième, troisièmement, Monsieur le Président, troisièmement, Monsieur le Président, l'honorable membre, maintenant, aujourd'hui, m'accuse Marcus. Mr. Speaker, sir, no, can me. this honourable member be requested to withdraw the words au oh, oh, trahison? Order, order. This word is not in order. So please, help the chamber, help the house. The proceeding going very well. Please, in the spirit of democracy, withdraw that word. Withdraw. withdraw. I won't. So, You have to withdraw yourself from the chamber. Behave yourselves, everybody. Everybody. Everybody! Lawyers. Yes, Mr. Speaker, so I was answering the third point I wanted to make with regard to what the Honorable Asia Vanen has said. Now he is taking me to task why I have reported the matter to the police yesterday. Huh? Look at the two questions. The first question of this. I mean, I don't want to comment the Honorable Juman, is state if he, he has filed or proposes to file a police complaint. He is asking me, this Honorable Member is asking me whether I have filed or I proposes to file a police complaint. And for the, if not for the benefit of the House, obtain from the Commissioner of Police whether the latter has Motu started an inquiry by himself. Huh? This is the question. This is the question of the Honorable Asia Vaden, whether an inquiry there too would be. I have therefore gone to the police. Now, if I had not given a statement to the police yesterday and today, they would have taken me to task today. Ah, why is it that now you are not going to the police? Why is it that you are not re reporting the matter to the police? So anyway, you will lose with them. But for me, what is important, you know, when those allegations were made, they are 
They were very, very serious allegations. And of course, the first thing I invited the one who is making the allegation, go to the authorities, make your formal complaint. But nothing happened. And of course, I will take whatever initiative needs to be taken. And can you imagine, Mr. Speaker, sir? They are making a lot of talking about this issue. This Mr. SS, he was aware of this survey since 21st of October 2021. 21st of October 2021. He doesn't report to anybody. They are talking about this honorable mem member who has left the house. He's saying whether I had communicated to the board, whether I had communicated to the board of Mauritius Telecom. The CEO of Mauritius Telecom, who is answerable to the board, does not, does not, has not at any time, at any time, express any concern to the board from 21st October 2021 to 30th of June 2022, date of his announcement that he is going to resign. That is the notice that he gives to Mauritius Telecom. There have been four board meetings. Four! 9th of December 2021, 17th of February 2022, 14th of April 2022, 20th of June 2022. He doesn't show at least any concern, any worries about somebody who asked him to do an illegal act. He doesn't intimate, not a word to the board, and when he resigns also. You must look at his, not his resigns, his notice of resignation. I will ask them, because they have access to all these documents, I will ask them to go and read his letter. It's a nice letter. Nowhere is it mentioned that I am giving a notice of resignation because there is something which is very serious, which concerns whatever treason or whatever security of the, of the country that the Prime Minister has of me. Please, you should have put that, because you are leaving anyway. Put that in your letter. Not a word. In fact, he's saying that he's ever grateful to the chairman uh, at the board. Wow. We'll see. Continue. Time over. <coughs>